let's talk about TV because as we've mentioned before, we've reached peak TV and there's way too much TV to watch between now and the time that you die. So to find the good stuff, we're here to help you. A lot of great new shows started this week. Uh, the Leftovers, one of the ones that I loved in its first season. Mike also loved it too. I have not seen the first episode of the second <laughs> season, but Mike has, and he's been barely able to contain uh, himself since Sunday. Th- it is literally the most batshit crazy thing you will see on television. Like, they have did abandoned all reason for madness with this show, and it is lovely. Uh, completely <laughs> lovely. So, uh, for those of you who don't know what it's about, uh, the, the Leftovers is uh, based on a book uh, that talks about uh, the rapture. And, uh, okay. what they, or what they, people think are the rapture. Like, basically, there's a, a certain percentage of the population that just spontaneously disappears, and it's about the people who are left behind and kind of how they deal with it. Oh, so there's okay. no actual, you know, connotations about why it happened or anything. Although, uh, the first season of the show did get a little bit weird. Now, I will preface this by saying that the show was made by the same guy who made Lost. So it could end up being just oh, a, yeah. uh, a Damon total... Lindelof. Yeah, it could be a total... Mm clusterfuck but the first episode of season two uh i if you've never even watched the first season you should watch the second season because it won't make any more sense to you it, whether either way uh I it need was to see it. it was literally amazing they go back i'm not even gonna spoil it I'm not even gonna say anything about it just go and watch it because it is the craziest hour of television that you will have um <laughs> the only thing i can think of like in terms of holy shit moments the only thing i can think of that's even close uh was the end of season two for Battlestar galactica where they they time oh, shift and you're not crazy. expecting the time shift or whatever uh, it is a million times crazier than that. Um, uh, I'm definitely so. <laughs> all about that. Uh, also this week, too, Homeland started uh, its yeah. fifth season we're into already. Really? Already. Holy shit. How many have you seen so far? Uh, I, I download everything. I mean, I uh, skillfully acquire. Um, <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I'm not up, in, up on it. I think I'm in third. Claire Danes is in the show. And Claire Danes. She cries a lot, right? Uh, she cries somewhat. And she, she gets really upset by things. Uh, things because that's that all I remember from the happen, trailers. And, and she, she gets like, upset. Yeah, and then one guy's maybe you don't really know what side he's playing for. And that's all I know about Homeland. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I haven't okay. watched any of the show. I'm Mandy totally Patinkin's out of the... in it. He's got a fucking awesome beard. It deserves its own show along with Jerry Burns' eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. They, we yeah, we need a beard show. We need a beard show. <laughs> there we go. Sure. Nice. Uh, also, too, The Flash premiered this week. Yeah, uh, you know, I, and watched it. I really enjoyed it. We we actually had a chance to see it. Um, if you've never watched the show before, uh, yeah, it is literally. Yeah. Just a, a television adaptation of the Flash comic book. Um, oh. So yeah, there's no there's no uh, real difference between what they're doing in the show and what's happening in the comics. Like they modernize a couple things and they change a little bit. But if you're a fan of like the really weird, like there's 20 different parallel dimensions and there's like 80 million people that can run really fast and stuff. It's it's all there. And um, the intro to the second season uh, was not a disappointment in, to me, anyways, in not, that not front because they continued the story from the first season very nicely and uh, they didn't really leave you with a lot of loose ends. And it was actually quite a, quite pleasant to watch. I read a couple people complaining about it though uh, online saying that they're oh there's all kinds of things wrong with the the flash intro and i'm like i, I didn't see it i didn't see anything really too terribly uh, I don't egregious that at all. yeah i don't know yeah so I mean, definitely worth checking out if you haven't had a chance to see the series it, this is a nice one because it is only season two that just started so it, if you need to be binge watch to, to you know get caught up it's not going to be the first biggest, season had a yeah. few stumbling blocks every television show does uh, i love the fact that they decided to make it more than just a guy that can run fast and fight crime that they're embracing the full insanity that is the flash with the parallel dimensions alternate characters time travel and other ridiculous crazy the concepts. talking gorilla talking gorilla, gorilla. Well, yeah the they, talking they, telepathic gorilla yeah. was the <laughs> best thing that happened on tv in 2015 it's horrible that we took the this long for television to finally produce that moment. I, I, exactly. Yeah, I need to see that. I need to see yeah, that. You'd That's probably really with, like it. With the beard show, too. There with we go. Show. With the beard show. <laughs> uh, also, too, last week premiered the third season of Sleepy Hollow. I think I'm the only person here that watched it. Yep. The first season was really cool. The second season suffered badly. I mm-hmm. just started in with the third one, and I'm not too sure if I'm going to even stay on board anymore at this point. Ooh. It was much better when it embraced its batshit craziness. It knew what it wanted to be, and it was unafraid to go for it. It was the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. It was Ichabod Crane fighting it, along with his female police detective partner. Completely different still from Numbers and from Limitless, (laughs) because they are not sleeping together, and they are not romantically attached at all. Oh, very good. Okay, good. As far as you know. Well, Well, maybe in real life it's They don't even hint at it. Yeah, but maybe it's going to just take a nosedive and then, then try to get back by being like, well, have sex. They could do that, but that'd be a Cousin Oliver moment. <laughs> yeah. And desperately trying to save a TV show that's floundering. The chemistry between the two actors is so good. I would be really disappointed if they actually strayed away from it. <laughs> the bottom line, though, is I don't think you really need to bother with it. But I'd still recommend the first season. Mm. It was only 12 episodes. Well worthwhile. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, tonight, the fourth, fourth season, season of Arrow, Arrow premiere. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Tell us about Stephen Amell. <laughs> Zoe? Oh, he's so pretty. <laughs> you know what, though? I... Um, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, he fits the character really well. It's just like, okay, I can't believe you guys are not talking about Mr. Robot, but I just want to Mr. Robot, that. I'm what a massive fan of. What the fuck? I'm disappointed. <laughs> that is not in your list of You only have so many in. minutes in the day. I don't There's fucking many... care. The show ended already. I'll talk with you about Mr. Robot, though. Oh, man, I love that show. <laughs> okay, but um, he fit his character really well, and he's dreamy, and... <sighs> I like him a lot too. He's a great actor. He's a great choice for no, the role. Yeah. He's Canadian. Yeah. Uh, is he? Oh, I didn't know he, that one. He is. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. from yeah. Vancouver, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's a BC boy. I'll be yeah. corrected on the bottom if that's wrong. Yeah, exactly. As yeah. I get <laughs> one up again by our video wrong. producer. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so many arrows. Uh, who, of course, is the actress that plays the Black Canary, and she was also on Mad Men. Oh boy, I can't remember uh, her name, oh, but I she's back, know. like uh, Laurel again. She's in the show. Uh, Laurel's in yeah. no, no, the first Black Canary, Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Um, I'm not sure. I can't to be remember honest. Yeah, I can't remember her name. Yeah, she's but fantastic. she's amazing. Yeah. I don't know if she's back. I don't. Well, I don't know. Or is she on the Heroes of Tomorrow? Yeah, I think they actually. Okay, so yeah, so this show is spinning off, right? Like they're taking characters from this show and from the Flash and some other characters that we haven't seen before, and they're making the show called Heroes of Tomorrow that's supposed oh, to be coming out or whatever. And it's that. like this giant team up thing. And I'm a little it looks, worried. I don't know. It looks okay, but it, again, uh, getting back to the concept of peak TV, there's too many damn things to. To watch like How many uh, superhero shows are there i don't know now there's like gonna I be seven those, yeah I, I, I do know. but uh, i've got flash i've got arrow i've got agents of shield i'll have supergirl um agent carter agent carter there's just a ridiculous okay so here's my idea i work at an isp i have the monitoring stuff monitor monitoring stuff i should also have a tv monitoring station you should where it's just like videos of um tv shows of uh superheroes Takes breaks for beards. And Stephen Amell on a salmon ladder. Yeah. Now we're talking. (laughs) And lastly this week, we watched the final episode of Fear of the Walking Dead. Yes. And what did you think? Uh, That was pretty good. Um, I thought that they, uh, you know, it was a little bit kind of... uh, model they they introduced a couple of deus ex machina type moments where things were just a little bit too convenient on, on the end but uh but it was pretty good i mean like uh, overall it was a nice uh, conclusion to you know just w- what was arguably a very small series it was only six issues so mm-hmm. i mean that, that wasn't uh, uh anything that was unexpected i guess but um of, of the quality throughout was actually quite good and the, where they leave it is actually quite nice too because you're not quite sure you know what's going to happen next yep. uh it could be zombies on a boat it'll be zombies <laughs> on a boat. Uh, we don't know yet though but now they've launched the zombies on a plane uh, thing. The first episode Wait. of uh, yeah, they're doing. Oh a little... my gosh, I was gonna make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> is that a real thing? It is a real thing. They're doing oh, episodes no. of it. Yeah, no. it's called Flight 462, and oh. uh, uh, it is a um, uh, just a little set of mini episodes that they're doing in between now and season two of this new uh, Fear the Walking Dead show. Um, so it's only the first episode's been released. It's only a minute and a bit. So I mean, I watched it. There's not really any telling whether or not it's good, but. I'm hoping there's going to be a scene where there's people having sex in the in the bathroom, and then they like they're having sex and they hear noise and they're like oh, and they look and there's all these like zombies trying to get in. They're like oh no, and they're like huh, oh, oh. and they're like, well we might as well still have sex some more. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Like, that's it's a, the whole story. It's an AMC show, so I'm this not, is AMC. This, yeah, they don't even like the word if, fuck. If this was really? HBO, no. the entire show would be that. But uh, it's not HBO, so I no. don't know what they're actually going to do no. with that. No, they do not Sadly. like. Any well, of then that. they'll be they'll be kissing, they'll be kissing. And they'll be a get... flight attendant with a guy, and then they'll move the curtain because they'll think someone's there to get tea or something, and then they'll see all the zombies. Well, Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, like so could be so far. Like it's like again, it's only a minute that's been released, so we don't really know very much. Other than people are starting to figure out that the world's falling apart. Like there's guys that are like, I don't have any cell connection, and uh, mom, you said that all the airports are closed down, and blah 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 blah. So that people are starting to lose their shit. So I don't know. You know, it could be cool. I I don't know, but it's uh, uh I kind of like it when they do little things like this. I think it's 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 kind of fun when they they give us information or like little tidbits like this. So, but apparently things that happen here, there's a character that they introduce in this little series that is actually going to make it his way or her way into the the normal show for season two or whatever so oh. so i don't know if that means that the plane lands or the char- <laughs> yeah i mean I, I, that might be a spoiler i don't know because they they say in the description that one of the characters is going to make it but maybe it's like maybe the guy on the on the gun on the ground the or something locked. like yeah it's, or that or it's like the the guy in the control tower just watching the plane crash or whatever oh that was terrible i should go rejoin the others <laughs> and then he faces the camera on a and good he goes note off. daniel yeah. finally stopped being a wuss and he's going to be prepared to be in the world of a zombie apocalypse because he beat that guy to death with his bare hands yeah in the parking garage we haven't seen that since the third episode of the walking dead you know it and honestly the in terms of like a dramatic beat that wasn't terrible because nope. it was a, he was really mad at himself for letting this guy survive and, and shooting um the uh the crazy uh, uh stabby uh haircutter guy's uh, daughter yeah so it's i don't know we'll have to see um 
kind of how that all pans out. But uh, yeah, the the haircutting dude letting all the zombies out at the end uh, was an amazing touch. Like that using that as a weapon. Good sequence. Yeah, very good. We haven't sequence. seen that in the, in the, the show before. Like normally everybody's like, oh no, zombies, and they're like, or they can't call them zombies because it's the fucking Walking Dead and it's new walkers or whatever the fuck they call them. Um, and yeah, they don't actually let them, you know, kind of use them as weapons. The only character that they had that has kind of close to that is Michonne or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the lady with the swords. Because oh, the, did they introduce her in the the show? Yes, they uh, did. The same way as the comics, where she's got the two walkers. It, it was on the, almost the a, a, a shot yeah. for shot yeah. recreation yeah. from the panel. I haven't comics. watched uh, the normal Walking Dead. I watched the first oh, okay. season, and I got to the last episode where there's the grenade in the backpack, and I was out. I just no, I <laughs> not even it was wanting to see almost it. <laughs> the frame from the comic was used yeah. okay. to to Good. show her the first time. Yeah. So it was so a huge surprise, actually. Well, yeah, because she's the only one. Like I guess before the the crazy uh, guy that let out uh, two thousand zombies. Danai Guerrero is the actress's name, but they actually got her service and did the shoot and nobody knew about it at all it was a complete surprise to really? fans they managed to keep a lid on it and wow. we didn't know until it actually aired it was a pretty awesome moment for the comic fans oh that's awesome I loved yeah. it I loved it Sweet. okay and I think that's about it for The Walking Dead other than the 2,000 walkers being let loose from an auditorium well yeah October 11th um, the normal season starts back up of just the the original recipe Walking Dead show so season 6 <laughs> yeah so this is like the, the extra crispy it. batter kind and uh, then there's original recipe Walking Dead that's starting right, uh, uh, season 6 I guess starts on October 11th so by the time you watch this they will have already aired oh, okay, Walking okay. Dead is actually boasting that they're already going to have the biggest sequence with the most zombies that they've ever shot on the show in the sixth season so wow. what we just saw is going to be eclipsed nice and i'm really looking forward to it yeah, it should be okay it'll be great it should be okay it'll be great it'll be great <laughs> <laughs>